ARS2K via YouTube asked, why are manufacturers not using V-band clamps on exhaust systems? I work on airlines and all the pneumatic piping has those clamps. These slip-on clamps are poop. So, uh, people using V-band clamps. Couple reasons why uh, V-band clamps can be difficult depending on the application you're looking for. Uh, the main reason why they don't do it is cost. Uh, cost is going to be pretty significant between using the, the uh, slip-on clamps and V-band style because you have to also mate it if you're going to do it in that particular case you wouldn't be able to because you're going to have to mate it to the stock exhaust so you're in that case you're deleting a resonator which means you're cutting out a resonator and then you're going to be replacing it with two slip-on clamps if you had a v-band you would need to then somehow weld on clamps or put a clamp on there and somehow mushroom the exhaust out around it to allow it to kind of slide over there and lock in place Either way, that's not a simple job and it shouldn't be done. The other reason why V-bands are not generally done is cost of generally just the manufacturing cost. V-bands tend to cost a little more money, but the manufacturing tolerance also has to be tighter because V-bands are not forgiving like, uh, like standard slip-on clamps are where you can make adjustments and tweak things. V-bands, pretty much when you lock them down, they are what they are and they're in place. So. Uh, I prefer V-bands myself on most things. It's just a matter of uh, if it's feasible. And again, because of that uh, inflexibility of V-bands, it creates other issues around uh, exhaust fitment and stuff like that. So uh, that's why V-bands, even if you have them, them installed properly, it might require tweaking and stuff to get everything lined up exactly right. Because one rotation wrong, might send the tips at the, all the way at the back of the car off a bunch and it might be rubbing on the body or whatever. And so uh, when you have multiple V-bands at a system, you'll have to like re-loosen things and, and adjust it a bunch to get them to work right, which, you know, for, for people that can be tough, but I think overall it's cost of the, the V-bands themselves, but also the manufacturing cost in general.